Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Megan Rapino slammed by USA fans for laughing after missing a crucial penalty in the World Cup shootout against Sweden, before crying on the field as her team are knocked out. Angry USA soccer fans rounded on Megan Rapino for laughing after she missed a crucial penalty in the World Cup penalty shootout against Sweden, which USWNT eventually lost to be knocked out of the tournament. It meant that Rapino, 38, has played her last World Cup game for the USA. She was crying on the field with her devastated teammates in Melbourne after Sweden won, but it was her immediate reaction to her own penalty miss that left many fans with little sympathy. She took USA's fourth penalty in the shootout to give her team a 4-2 lead in the shootout and blazed her shot high over the crossbar. But as she jogged back to the halfway line, she was much to the confusion of fans watching back home, smirking and laughing to herself. I don't see what's funny about this, one fan wrote on Twitter in response. The laughing shows how much this team took this as a joke. So much for being a role model for the rest of the team. Woke Rapino laugh when she ruins the chance for USA to best Sweden. Classy. PIC.twitter.com slash MNO1OHV2QO. Avga Annie Loof, at Avga Loof, August 6, 2023. Another said, I'm generally a Megan Rapino fan, but laughing after a missed penalty is not a good look. A different USWNT supporter said, Megan Rapino laughing after she missed a game winning PK. Never happier to see a player retire. Never want to see her on my TV again. What a way to end your career. Another USA fan tweeted, Megan Rapino laughing after missing her PK will be in my nightmares. What a joke. Rapino herself spoke to Fox briefly after the game, I thought we played really well, I am so happy for us that we went out playing the way that we did. This is dark comedy, I missed a penalty. This is the balance to the beautiful side of the game. I feel really grateful and joyful, and I know this is the end and that is sad. This is the only time I have been a in one of these, losing on penalties at a World Cup, it has been an honor. Speaking in the mixed zone, she added, it is tough, it sucks. There was so much more in it for us. She was asked about smiling after missing her penalty and said, it's a sick, sick joke. I've never hit it over, when I miss, they are saved. Reflecting on her legacy with the US team, Rapino said, I think this team has always fought for so much more and that's been the most rewarding part for me, to know that we've used our really special talent to do something that's changed the world forever. The US team had divided some of its fanbase during the tournament in Australia and New Zealand with several of the starting lineup repeatedly refusing to sing the national anthem before their games. Fox soccer analyst Alexi Lalas alluded to it in his post-game reaction, I hope this team can unite Americans moving forward. Rapino, a two-time World Cup winner, played every game as a substitute. She had entered this one in extra time but had struggled to make much of an impact during her time on the field. I am devastated, it feels like a bad dream, Alex Morgan said to Fox afterwards. It doesn't feel great. USWNT coach Vladko Andonovsky added that he was proud of his team, despite crashing out at the last 16 stage of the competition. I'm so proud of the team, so proud of the girls and the women on the field and everybody outside, he said. I know that we were criticized for the way we played and I know we were criticized for different moments throughout the group stage. I think we came out today and showed what we're all about. We showed grit, resilience, fight and bravery. We showed everything that we could to win the game and unfortunately soccer can be cruel sometimes. The U.S. team headed into the tournament looking to become the first team in the men's or women's game to win three straight World Cups. But the team didn't ever hit the standard that has been expected of an all-conquering side. A 3-0 win over Vietnam to start the competition didn't impress too much, despite the scoreline, and they rounded out the group with two ties, 1-1 against Holland and 0-0 with Portugal. Source, DailyMail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.